Welcome to Repay Family, the leading prepaid content provider and distribution network in the world. First of all, we want to thank you for choosing us as your preferred prepaid provider. This video will give you easy instructions on how to start selling prepaid products to your customers. Let's get started. As one of our EPA customers, you received a welcome letter, including your web host admin user. Before we start making sales, we need to complete two setups. 1. Install digital certificate on your computer to assure security in all your transactions. 2. Create sales users using the admin user included in the welcome email. Remember that you cannot make sales with the admin user as this is set up for managing the sales users. Let's move on and start with the digital certificate installation process. Open the welcome letter we sent to your email address. For your information, the visual instructions are also included in your welcome letter. Locate your admin username, temporary password, and blue link to download and install the certificate. Hover over it for two seconds and then click on it. This will direct you to our ePay webpage. Now, you're required to enter your username and password. This information can be found in the welcome letter. Copy and paste the username and password accordingly. After this information is filled out, click on Submit. Make sure you only use the login information included in the welcome letter. If an error message displays, you might be using the incorrect login credentials. A pop-up will appear on the screen and require you to install the digital certificate on your computer. Click on the Download Now button to start the installation process. Click on Open, and the Certificate Import Wizard will appear. Click Next located at the bottom until you're prompted to enter a password. The Certificate Password is located under the instructions in your welcome letter. Under Private Key Password. After pasting the password, click Next until you get Finish. A confirmation will appear advising the input was successful. After the certificate was installed, we're going to log in with your admin username and create sales users. Go back to the login screen, enter your admin username and temporary password you will be prompted to change the password. Password requirements include at least eight characters as minimum, one uppercase, one lowercase, and one numerical value as part of your password. Once you have entered and confirmed your password, click on Next. Upon login, the screen will display all the virtual stores available under the admin username. Locate the virtual store in which we will be adding the sales username and click Admin Users. To add a new sales user, select Add New User to this virtual store. You will now be directed to enter all the required information to add a new sales user. Enter the desired username. The email field is already populated with the email address associated to the account. If you want to change the email address for the username, you may do so at this point. Type in the desired password. Keep in mind the same requirements you use to change your admin password. Go ahead and retype your password. If you would like the user to change the password upon first login, leave the check mark under Force User to Reset Password. Enter the user's first and last name. The web session timeout is the amount of time the user will stay logged in. The default session timeout is 30 minutes. Type 30. 
Users cannot be deleted, but can be disabled. If you want to deny access to a user, check the box User Disabled. After filling all the information, we will now grant the roles for this sales user. Check Certificate Download to allow the user to download the certificate upon first login. Check Clerk Refund to grant the authority for this user to perform refunds. Choose one of the following two reporting options if you want to allow the user to see billing and discount reports, check Clerk Report. If you want to hide billing and discount reports, check Report Show Only Transaction Reports. Checking both futures may cause reporting issues. Check Clerk Sales to grant the authority to process sales. Check Clerk Show Credit to allow the user to see the store's available credit. Auto ePay and card registration are additional features that currently do not have any effect on the sales account. Once all desired authorities have been granted, click on Save WebHost User. Now that the sales user has been created, log out from your admin user. We will go back to the welcome letter. Locate the secure link you will now use to log in and click on it. Log in using the sales user you just created. Click on Submit. We have successfully added a sales user and your store is now ready to process transactions. Thank you for watching this video and choosing ePay as your prepaid provider.